Hello students, in this lesson, I'll be telling you about the staff notations, the sheet music. So you must have seen people who play the keyboard and piano, they read something, they have a book open on their piano and they watch it and kind of play it. So that's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is a musical language. So we have to read it and then play it. So, if you have not watched the introduction to the keyboard and black keys lesson, go watch them first and come back to this lesson. So, in this lesson, I'll be beginning with an introduction to the treble clef. Yeah, that's called a treble clef. The S kind of thing that you see here is called a treble clef. We call this a treble clef. D R E A. E B L E T R E B L E C L E F F treble clef. So this S kind of thing is called the treble clef. We play, that means when you see this, you know, like on your sheet music, when you see this thing, it tells you, hey, play with the right hand. It tells you the treble clef, the S kind of thing tells you, play with your right hand. Use your right hand. And what do I play with my right hand? I play the middle part of the piano, that is C3. Do you see notes? Do you see notes forming on the treble clef? Okay, so that means the treble clef tells you to play with your right hand and from the middle part of the piano. Okay. So if I watch like if I watch the treble clef sheet carefully, okay, I think you can you can watch it, right? Right? So when you see this treble clef sheet, okay, this tells you a few things, okay? So it has a lot of notes on it. So how do you read it? Like if you see something like this, how do you go on and read it? So I'll be telling you, so listen to me carefully. Any note that falls in the first line of your treble clef is called as an E note. So we call this an E note. Any note that falls on the first line of the treble clef is called as an E note. Any note that falls on the second line of your treble clef is called the G note. Any note that falls on the third line of your treble clef is called as a B note. So E, G, B. Any note that falls on the fourth line of your treble clef is called as a D note. So you have E note, G note, B note, D note. And any note that falls on the fourth line of your treble clef is sorry fifth line of your treble clef is called as a F note okay so you have E G B D F okay so any so you can see the first line is for E note the second line is for G note the third line is for B note the fourth line is for D note the fifth line is for F note so you have E G B D F so an easy way to remember this you can remember every good boy deserves fudge or you can remember every good boy does fine so e g b d f that's the way to re remember this so we are going to learn the treble clef one more time i'm going to revise it for you e g b d and f so e g b d and f so that's the treble clef so whenever you see something like this on a treble clef okay some note like this you can instantly say oh that's a that's an e that's a g that's a b that's a d that's a f so e g b d f i hope you understood it so that's your treble clef so go ahead and re remember your treble clef really well and try to play something with your right hand Thank you for watching. In the next lesson, I'll be telling you all about your bass clef.